Yes, there is. I am Lex San Jose and we are Group 5 and this is the Philippine Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Act of 2010. Join us as we explore the salient features of this law. Disaster is a serious disruption of the functioning of a community or a society involving widespread human, material, economic, or environmental losses and impacts, which exceeds the ability of the affected community or society to cope using its own resources. Disasters are often described as a result of the combination of the exposure to a hazard, the conditions of vulnerability that are present, and insufficient capacity or measures to reduce or cope with the potential negative consequences. Disaster impacts may include loss of life, injury, disease, and other negative effects on human physical, mental, and social well-being together with damage to property, destruction of assets, loss of services, social and economic disruption, and environmental degradation. Disaster risk is the potential disaster losses in lives, health status, livelihood, assets, and services which could occur to a particular community or society over some specified period of time. Disaster risk reduction is the concept and practice of reducing disaster risks through systematic efforts to analyze and manage the causal factors of disasters. Disaster risk reduction may be carried out by reducing exposures to hazards, lessened vulnerability of people and property, wise management of land and the environment, and improved preparedness for adverse events. Disaster Risk Reduction aims to reduce the damage caused by natural calamities like earthquakes, floods, cyclones, and other disasters through an ethic of prevention. As they say, prevention is better than cure, and together we could do so much to lessen the damage brought about by these disasters. The Yoga Framework for Action is a United Nations initiative that provided a global blueprint for DRRM to substantially reduce disaster losses. Specifically, the framework involves the necessary steps of making disaster risk reduction a priority, knowing the risks and taking action, building understanding and awareness, reducing risks, and being prepared and ready to act. The Yoga Framework was adopted by the Philippines and it is now embodied in Republic Act No. 10121 or the Philippine Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Act of 2010. Former Law on Disaster Relief and Response, Presidential Decree 1566, had a top-down centralized disaster management which considers disasters as a function of physical hazards. However, RA10121 employs a bottom-up participatory disaster risk reduction and management which considers disasters as a reflection of people's vulnerability from disaster response to risk reduction. The former law, therefore, performs a reactive, while the latter law performs a proactive role as regards disaster management. RA10121 was signed into law on May 27, 2010, and the implementing rules and regulations was approved three months thereafter. 
the state policy behind this law is to safeguard the people's constitutional rights to life and property by providing holistic, comprehensive, integrated, and proactive disaster risk reduction and management approach. Basically, RA 10121 aims at strengthening the Philippine disaster risk reduction and management system, providing for the NDRRM framework and developing plans and policies for the implementation and the necessary actions and measures consistent to its goals. It covers all aspects of disaster risk reduction and management including good governance, risk assessment and early warning, knowledge building and awareness raising, reducing underlying risk factors, and preparedness for effective response and early recovery. To actualize its purposes, the law established the National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council. The National Council is headed by the Secretary of the Department of National Defense, the Secretaries of the DILG, DOST, DSWD, and the Director General of NEDA are the Council's Vice Chairpersons occupying key positions therein. Also, the NDRRMC is composed of 14 line departments, other relevant government agencies, and two government funding institutions. The DRRM network includes the national, regional, provincial, city, and municipal councils and the barangay committees. They are mandated and are expected to coordinate with each other before, during, and after calamities. Some of its functions include advising the President on the status of disaster preparedness, prevention, mitigation, response and rehabilitation operations being undertaken by the government agencies concerned, private sector and volunteers, establishing a national early warning and emergency alert system to provide accurate and timely advice to national or local emergency response organizations and to the general public, providing proposals to restore normalcy in the affected areas and formulating and implementing a framework for climate change adaptation and disaster risk reduction and management from which all policies, programs, and projects shall be based. As the situation in any barangay, municipality, city, province, or region requires, the National Council shall recommend to the President to place the same under a state of calamity. The declaration and lifting of the state of calamity may also be issued by the local Sangunian upon the recommendation of the LDRRMC based on the results of the damage assessment and needs analysis. Consequently, the National Council, in coordination with the national and local governments, shall take remedial measures such as monitoring overpricing, profiteering and hoarding of prime commodities, medicines and petroleum products, programming or reprogramming of funds, and conducting relief and rescue operations. During these unfortunate instances, the government expects compliance, compassion, and cooperation from the citizens, both affected and not. Thus, some of the prohibited acts are the following. Dereliction of duties, preventing the entry and distribution of relief goods in disaster-stricken areas, forcibly seizing of the goods intended for a specific group of victims or relief agency, and misrepresenting the source of relief goods. The said offenses are punishable by imprisonment up to 12 years or fine up to 500,000 pesos. Yes, there
there is hope. As Stephen Hawking said, however bad life may seem, there's always something you can do and succeed at. When there is life, there is hope. Indeed, the onslaught of natural disasters are unavoidable. But with proper coordination, constant communication, and consistent cooperation, we could mitigate its damage. If together we could, then together we should. I am Lex Sanosei, and we are Group 5. Thank you for listening.